welcome to our lesson on exponential graphs. So we have the equation y is equal to 2 to the power of x. And because x is now the power, this is what makes it an exponential graph and that will affect the shape of a curve. Like I said, x is the variable, so we will be substituting these values into the equation and plotting them against y. So we start with when x is equal to negative 1. So y is equal to 2 to the power of x, y is equal to 2 to the power of negative 1. I mean negative power means it's reciprocal of 2 to the 1, which is 1 over 2. So when x is negative 1, y is 0 0.5, which we can plot about here at the coordinate negative 1 and 0 0.5. When x is equal to 0, we have y is equal to 2 to the power of 0, and anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we have when x equals 0, y is equal to 1, which we can plot here at the coordinate 0, 1. When x is equal to 1, we have y is equal to 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, which we can plot here. x is equal to 2, we have y is equal to 2 to the power of 2, or 2 squared, it's 4. So when x equals 2, y is equal to 4. When x is equal to 3, we have 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. So we have a coordinate 3 and 8. And when x is equal to 4, we have t to the power of 4, which is 16. So when x is 4, y is 16. And we can plot these points together to make the exponential curve. So one of the properties of an exponential graph is that it increases rapidly in the y value as the x value increases. Also, the intercept value on the y axis will be 1 because anything to the power of 0 will equal 1. Let's move on to the next question, where we will see an exponential decay. In this question, we're going to plot the graph of y is equal to 1 third to the power of x, between the values of x from negative 2 to positive 2. Do you want to try this yourself by pausing the video, and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, to begin. When x is equal to negative 2, we have y is equal to 1 third to the power of negative 2. And we know the negative means reciprocal. So y is equal to 3 over 1, or just 3 squared, which is 9. So when x equals negative 2, y will equal 9. And we can plot that point here. And the next one. We have x equals negative 1, so 1 third to the power of negative 1. The negative means reciprocal, so we flip the fraction upside down. The power is 1, and that comes out as 3. So when x equals negative 1, y will equal 3. Then we have 1 third to the power of 0. And like we said a minute ago, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So when x equals 0, y is equal to 1. And then when x is equal to 1, 1 third to the power of 1 is 0 0.3 recurring, or just 1 third. And we can estimate this to be about here. And finally, when x is equal to 2, we have 1 third squared, which is 1 ninth, which is 0 0.1 recurring. And we can plot that approximately here. And now we can join a point together to make a smooth curve. And this function shows an exponential decay. 
because as the value of x increases, the value of y decreases very quickly. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.